My name is Ruben Peralta from Cocalecas.net. Come on! Yes! Noah, how are you, brother? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. And you? I, I'm fantastic. I'm, I'm honored to be here with you. <laughs> Me too. I'm so happy to be here, man. One of the things that I love about the movie, it's like you never know who's the actually the villain and who's the heroes. It's always this argument and the definition of hero and villain. Mm -hmm. What is your definition based on, 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 on after uh, filming Black Adam? It's hard. Uh, my first thought is I want to say intention, but we know that the, what is it, the path to hell is paved with good intentions. Yeah. Is that, I don't know, I'm not sure if that's the quote, if I butchered it. So, but I think it is, it is a little bit about your intention and what you're trying to accomplish. Of course, you have, it's such a moral dilemma, yes. you know? <laughs> and, it's that's, hard. and that's what's so great about it is that it's very subjective, but at the end of the day, I think, I think there will always be greater evils and lesser evils, but it's more important to ask the question, if it's good, who is it good for? And if it's bad, who is it bad for? The movie also, it's very diverse. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things that get me my attention. We have all kinds of representation. What representations mean to you in these times? It means, it means everything to me. Uh, I think uh, it's about damn time that we catch up and normalize representation and just telling true stories of real people and not just one type of person or, or a stereotypical type of person. I think it's time that we just, we honestly convey stories of all kinds. Um, and to be a part of this and to be able to join up with this incredible cast, with Dwayne, with Q, with Aldis, of course, Pearson, with even Jama, and to just be a part of that and to have a, a tiny little role in a, in, a, in a film as important as Black Adam, it's very fulfilling. Uh, Jaime Colet Serra is a great director. He comes from Spain and has a lot of experience doing action movies. How was your experience shooting with him these amazing action uh, sequences? It's, it's phenomenal. Uh, he has the unique ability to allow everyone to shine in their own way and yet allow them to, at the same time, um, be in tune and harmony with everyone around them. So he finds which, your strengths and he plays into them and he makes your strengths work with everybody else's strengths to have this really orchestral effect. Uh, and he's just so sweet, such a good man, so driven. He's got such a vision in his head, he's brilliant, it's incredible. He mapped out every single shot of this film before we ever stepped foot on set. Do you think that, that you are a young actor? The Rock has been in the business for so long. Yes. Do you see The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, as a role model as a, for your career? Absolutely, I think just the way that he commits himself to his roles and to his business partners and himself and his actors around him and his producing partners, it's, it's incredible to see that and to literally bear witness to it and, and be a part of that. Um, it's in incredibly inspiring and very motivational and uh, you can't help but learn when you're around him. Do you know the story before you were involved in the project? Are you like reading comics or do you know about uh, Atom Smasher? He was one of my favorites when I was a kid. Really? And I'm so happy that I see you and I saw it in the movie, I promise you. I used to see, <laughs> I watch this, uh, the Justice League cartoon from the 70s, back in Dominican Republic, translated, like double in Spanish. And I, and I liked it. Like I liked what the things that he can do even before we had another superhero that he looks like. So wow. how do you document yourself for your, for your character and about the whole thing with Black Adam? Well, first and foremost, it is, it's so awesome. I, I, I love that you yes. were watching it as a, as a kid back in the Dominican Republic. Um, that makes me very happy. I wasn't too aware of the comic books before this opportunity with this film. Um, but then of course, once this opportunity came, I, I dove into them and learned that I, I felt for me, I just, I just needed to learn more about the character and what I found was a lot of the character in the comic books or in the shows, um, he's a fully fledged superhero already, right? And yeah. so in this film, it's before that, it's his first time being recruited to the Justice Society. Exactly. So what I found was, let me go back into his past. Let me research where he comes from with his uncle being the Adam mm -hmm. superhero, his grandfather being the villain under precarious situation. And just letting that inform how he walks into a room and how he really really is almost desperate to prove himself as yeah. a good person, as a superhero. And I think it comes across in the film that he's pretty inexperienced yes. as well. So, but it's fun, you know. No, I thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Ruben. Thank it's you. a pleasure. My son sacrificed his life to save me. These powers are not a gift.
but a curse. Born out of rage. Ah! Not enough. This loose cannon needs to be locked down before innocent people start getting hurt. He's been asleep for 5,000 years. You find us a cell that can hold him, we'll take care of the rest. Who's on the team? I didn't bring a passport. We don't need passports. We're the Justice Society. There's a war going on outside when you ain't safe, huh? Black Adam. We're here to negotiate your peaceful surrender. Heard about at least three killings this afternoon. I'm not peaceful. Nor do I surrender. Here we go. I kneel before no one. You didn't come here to seek justice. You came to exact revenge. I never said I was a hero. Even you respect, I expect the same thing. You believe you are not worthy. But fate does not make mistakes. You have two paths. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior.